Japan in July. All right, on we go. Ah. Good Some, take off, really yes. tight pipe position. Was, I mean, all the elements were there just a little bit late on that come out. Space, so you really have to look at that water, line up your head. If you keep your head in, rotation continues, and that's what we saw here. That with her going over there. And the adrenaline is only something you feel when you're competing. In British Columbia, she'll be doing an inward two and a half pike. Oh, beautiful wow. start. I think we're gonna see some big score. She had her breakout season last year, going, uh, taking her first ever national championships. And she's so young as well, bright future. Bright future, she's got some new dives to learn in the future. Will be Megan Lupa, not the diver you're seeing on your screen right now, because Megan will be competing from the 7.5 meter platform for this dive. Forward, two and a half pike position, and this is an, it is permitted, and that is her level of diving. Probably be learning in the future in her diving career. With Kate Miller. So let's see if she can get a birthday surprise for herself in this reverse two and a half. Oh, beautifully done. Just a little miss at the end there, lining up the arms. Good jump in the air. She knows exactly where she is in the air, but she's short from the vertical. And the judges do like to see that confidence in their dives. You can see. Here comes Eloise Benalger from the Camo Diving Club in Montreal. And throughout another event, you mentioned the, the braces on the wrist. We see that a lot on the 10 meter platform. Yeah, the 10 meter, you can be hitting the water up to 60 kilometers an hour. Seemed a little nervous off the beginning. Good jump, just coming out of that rotation way too late. This is where we're gonna see some of the veteran divers being able to come back from a miss like that, maybe. Another veteran, Selena Todd. One of two Olympians in this event. That's for sure. Wow. Well done. Good start for Selena. You can tell Good she's dialed in on that dive. Yes. I love when the dive seems very dynamic. You could see the energy in the come out. Good scores to start. One of my teammates actually from Saskatoon. Uh, Elena Dick, she'll be doing a back two and a half, back one and a half, sorry, two and a half twist though. Not too much rotation on this one, eh? only one and a half, so control is very important. Really tight twisting position. Great start, she'll be very happy with that one. One more to go in this round. Eight competitors in this final. Oh! oh. Advanced divers in this event, you can see here, knows exactly where she is in the air. Really tight pike position, lines up really great. But a powerful entry and some big scores here. First nines of the competition for the ladies. Refocus for the second round. That's right. The kids are happy to be on TV. All right, Audrey Howells now. A back two and a half tuck. All right. Good takeoff. Comes out of that rotation a little too aggressively towards the back throughout their careers. And you really need to be in those events and those competitions with stronger divers than yourself. Renee Batala now, a reverse two and a half tuck. Oh! That she can add a flip to this dive. So much space to complete the two and a half rotations. And the key to success here is really to pay attention and be aware in this. All right, here comes Megan Lupa. Previously on the 7.5 meter platform, now she's up on the 10 meter for her second dive, which is an inward two and a half pike position. Very tight. Coming out of that pike position here, the legs just kept going. You gotta tighten those abdominal muscles right here. Judges are gonna for sure see and deduct on. 
46.20 on the dive. Her second dive is a big one. 3.3 degree of difficulty for a back three and a half tuck. Oh, such a good takeoff. Lots of speed as well here, but just a big error in judgment coming out of that rotation way too early. All right, moving on now. Another diver looking to come back in this event, Eloise Belanger. There Ooh. we go, that's a way to come back. That's a great second dive for Louise there. Beautiful inward two and a half pike. Jumped a little far out from the platform, but she really managed to stay focused and line up properly to land vertically because when there's movement backwards like that, it makes it more difficult to be precise at the end. Stop moving as her body goes through the water. 58.80 on this one. Selena Todd now with a back two and a half, one and a half twist. Good dive, just missing a little bit at the end. And we know how energetic she can be. I think that's what was lacking here in this dive. A little more push here, get that speed going. Ah. When you come out of the pike position where you have to judge whether you line up right away or give it an extra push. And I will say, that moment is very brief. <laughs> yeah. All right, not a big miss here for Selena, but she knows she can do better. Elena Dick now coming up with a forward three and a half tuck position. Uh, she spent a lot of her time in this pool on that 10 meter right there. Oh, definitely a comfort wow. zone for her. <laughs> <laughs> and it's quite unusual that we see these types of dives starting from the edge of the tower. Usually there's an approach. Yeah, she she actually just, she used to do the approach, but now she's started with the standing because of the ankle tape. And it's working out a tiny degree short of the vertical, but great scores here for Elena. With a reverse two and a half tuck position. And you're gonna see Kaylee jump very high off the tower in this one and point her toes right at the water because she makes this dive look so easy. Oh, Ooh. great show of control. It's really hard to come out so early. You really have to keep that body so firm. And I know for a fact she is working on adding a flip to this dive. There's so much space to accomplish that one day. Good distance from the wow. tower. Goes just a little by to create that little splash, but good dive. Very solid for Kaylee there in the second round. Kaylee McKay in first. Atlanta Dick second. Selena Tott. On we go with round three now. Audrey Howes back on the 10 meter. Double flip. Obviously in the forward direction. Pike position. There. Well done. A little misjudgment at the end. We'll see it in the replay. But you mentioned it, the, the comfort of being on your hands on the 10 meter and to be able to show it in competition because of, and she did just that. Just lined up a little too quick. That kept her short. She's showing that she's got great potential. Somersault tuck, and she uses the approach. Oh, good dive. I'm looking forward to seeing the replay. I have a feeling she was really far from it the end like, of the platform. Yeah, it looked like she was a little bit back. She struggled with this in the prelim quite short, but she's done a much better effort here in the final. <coughs> On the takeoff. Uh, yeah, you can see that with the judges' scores, the four maybe he thought was a little bit too close on the... On the Good job. For some divers, the entry is the difficult part. For some divers, landing vertical. And you see, once you come out of a competition like this, you can see, yeah, she's been very vertical. Just need to work on getting through that water. Just a little bit speed to give her more space to line up at the end. All a work in progress. 
come back into this competition with the back arm stand, double somersault, one and a half twist. She really does have beautiful legs and toes as well in that handstand. Good job. Ooh. Nice comeback. What's key in this one here is to really jump from your hands, Ooh. create some speed in the rotation, but an improvement. Definitely Big improvement. one from the round before. Up next now, another arm stand dive. Eloise Belanger. Why are you standing there so long? He goes, I'm looking for a comfortable spot for my feet before <laughs> I go. I, I can feel that. I can feel that moving my toes around. Ah. <laughs> But you have to find the vertical for that. Yeah, that is true. Not dynamic enough in the takeoff here and lines up just too early so the body doesn't quite make it, make it to the vertical. It's a bit of an off performance so far from Eloise. We know she can do better than that. Forward, three and a half somersault. Pike position. Good job. Good takeoff here. Would have liked to see more speed on that dive, just to give her a chance at the end to really fully extend her body. Because the dive ended vertical, just not enough space to fully complete it. Bingo. <laughs> Solid dive for Selena. It's not her best work, but... And in these events, she's just trying to get it out. All right, next dive now for Elena Dick. It will be an inward two and a half. Pike position. Oh. Nice. Very solid diving so far for Lena. So consistent. Distance, but those legs have to get through the platform here. Just working on that consistency and confidence, and you can tell it's definitely paying off for Elena here today. All smiles. Oh, I'm not having such a bad time myself. <laughs> Thank you. Haley McKay with an inward three and a half tuck position. Oh, wow. Ho, ho. She is dialed in. We can see the next level of diving here in this one. So effortless looking. Great takeoff. Tight, tight tuck position. That's one thing she has improved a lot, though, in the recent years is her entries. She's been really getting a lot better at getting that rip entry to get those higher eight, eight and a half, even on the nines. And every dive is... is on a, on a Tuesday afternoon, you're only going to work on your entries, right? Yep. You do these easy dives, 